Welcome back guys to another video. I'm getting ready to eat my lunch and get started on a few projects. And uh, this is my lunch for today. It's very random, just a smorgasbord. We got some crackers, some tomatoes. These tomatoes are really sweet, I like them. Cheese, pretzels, a pickle, some deli meats, some salsa, some chips, and some hummus. Also, ignore my painting attire, but my self-care for today was painting my toenails. I'm just working on little projects here and there. Got a bunch of stuff going on. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me because it's kind of little artsy here and there projects um, that some of you guys may be interested in. So let me show you what I'm working on. This project over here, this is my little Ariel in her little outfit that she had on when she discovered she had legs and came out of the ocean. I'm gonna put her in the laundry room since the laundry room is little mermaid theme i am going to take her out of the box but i'm going to save the box this project is for the lantern that i got when we visited north carolina for thanksgiving this project is something that i'm working on for the laundry room i will show you what i'm doing with that these flowers i brought from downstairs i have a little project going in the alice in wonderland room i'll show you that and these these greenery pieces I got from at home when you guys saw me go there in one of our previous videos and I'm also going to put this in that lantern. Just come along with me as I do some artsy crafty things. I'm gonna get the trash can out and open it up because I'm gonna sand these candle, whatever these things are, tears. I got these from Salvation Army years ago when we first moved to Florida. They were dark brown. I painted them with white chalk paint and I'm gonna distress them a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding this to just, I'm gonna do it over the trash can because I don't want any sheetrock dust. Sheetrock dust, what am I talking about? I don't wanna have to clean up any dust. So I'm just roughing this up. All right, I've got all three candlestick thingies done. Got them all distressed. I am going to put batteries in these candles, stick them in the lantern, and try to style that. These I just got off of Amazon. They come with a remote, you can put them on a timer, which is what I'm gonna do. Ooh, fancy. Cut all these little branches. Probably won't use all of these. some of these in there. What do you guys think? And test. Pretty. I like it. I think it looks pretty. I'm taking a break from the crafting to make me some lunch. So I always use parchment paper whenever I use a um, sheet pan just because it's easier to clean up. But I did get these a few days ago at Aldi's. So I'm gonna make some pizza. I'm just using some leftover Rayo's marinara sauce. 
put some mozzarella cheese, put some mushrooms on here, tomatoes. Okay. While my pizza is cooking, I'm going to try to style this little thing that I also bought in North Carolina when we were visiting family for the holidays. I just stuck wine corks in here for the time being, but I did want to use some of this leftover greenery in here just to see if it looks a little bit better. So I'm going to try that. All right, guys, what do we think? I think it looks pretty good. That's my oven. Letting me know that it is up to temperature. I'm still learning how to use this oven. What do, what do we think? I think it looks pretty cute. So, moving on to other projects. I'm gonna take this all in the Alice in Wonderland room. I gotta still work on this, but first I'm gonna eat. Okay, some time has passed, but I told you guys I was going to show you my finished lunch. I've eaten most of it. I have one slice left and I'll show you that. <laughs> there it is, it was very delicious. Probably not the healthiest thing, but it's just a veggie pizza, no meat. So it's just cheese, onions, mushrooms, and tomatoes. And I put some Italian seasoning on the top. It was very delicious. But now I am working on this project. I told you guys in one of our previous videos that I was gonna be working on a little art project for the Little Mermaid laundry room. So that's what I'm working on now. And I'm pretty excited about it. So what I did was go on Amazon and I bought these little bubble things. They're actually molds. You can use these as ornaments. You can use them as bath bomb forms. You can do all types of stuff with them. There is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different sizes. These are the really, really tiny ones. I went to Pinterest and I printed off some Little Mermaid artwork and I cut it out into the bubble shape and I've been using hot glue and kind of gluing the paper on there. So when you hang it up, it will look like that. So what I did was just take a pencil and my form and put it over where on the picture I want to show through the bubble and just took my pencil, traced around, just cut out the circle. I've got my circles cut out. What I've been doing is just taking the heat gun and just kind of going around the perimeter, right on the edge, and then set it right on top there we go and then after this dries completely I've been taking my exacto knife the reason that I have this down is to protect the countertop and going around and cutting off any excess that's on the outside but that's my favorite one and I'll just trim this excess off when it fully dries now I'm gonna do some work in the Alice in Wonderland bedroom. Got a few things that I want to do in here. I did want to apologize for the noise. I get it from both ends. We have the pool pump next door that makes that god awful racket that you can always hear in the background of my videos. I have tried to tinker around with the megahertz and gigahertz and all that stuff to try to make it not sound so bad, but I'm not well versed enough on it to not make my audio sound right so I'm gonna keep working on that but if you can hear that that's the next door neighbors air conditioner unit this is Dave's mother's um, teapot so what I thought I would do is you know Alice 
in Alice in Wonderland has a tea party, so I figured I would put some flowers in here. And I picked blue because it goes with her dress. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some glue on the end there. And then that way, it will stay. What I thought about doing, what I thought about doing with this, since it's really long, is kind of gluing it to the inside of the spout. Or I wouldn't necessarily have to glue it. I could just shove it in there like that. What do you guys think? I am going to take Alice here out of her box. She's in her little teacup spinning around. So I have it all fixed. Let me give you a look at what it looks like. On this end, we have this little artificial plant that we found at Beals. It's pink and it has little red hearts on it, so I thought that was really cute and would look good in here in the Alice in Wonderland bedroom. We have the white rabbit. Got that at Disney Springs at the co-op. I just put these flowers in here in this glass vase to just use up what I have. I've had both of these clocks for a very long time and they just kind of remind me of Alice in Wonderland so I put them up here. I have this terrarium, a Alice in Wonderland pop in a teacup and the teacup that I just put the flowers in. I think it looks pretty nice. Of course, over time, I'm sure I'll add more to it. I ordered these butterflies on Amazon. They have double-sided tape that you put on the back of them and then you can stick them anywhere you want. So to go with the Alice, Alice in Wonderland theme, I'm kind of just putting some little butterflies here and there. I also put some on my Alice in Wonderland lantern, but I think it's pretty cute. Good morning, excuse my wet hair. I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready to start the day, but I want to end this video and give you guys an update on the laundry room. It's really, really cute. I still have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that I still want to do, but I wanted to give you guys a look at what I did yesterday. So there's been a few updates in here. Um, this is a new laundry mat. Um, I gave my old one to my mother-in-law and we wanted one that just kind of matched the vibe a little bit. These are the little touches that I have added. I opened my little Ariel pop and I printed a pretty picture off of Pinterest and framed it and put it up here. We have the pearl and the shell. Got that off of Amazon have a artificial plant here and that fish my son actually made when he was in elementary school. We do have a light and sound machine up there that kind of gives you the vibe of an ocean. This is what it looks like with the lights off. I really like it. I think it gives a pretty cool touch. This pearl does light up. So that's also pretty cool. And I have a little lamp here that I also cut on at night. So at night it just gives, it's a vibe. The laundry room is a vibe. And you've seen this picture before if you watched our laundry room revamp videos, but I did add these little bubbles. They're going all the way up the wall. I decided to only add them to one section of the wall because I would like to put something probably up here at some point and get some artwork to put 
sugar on this wall. But it's coming along. I think it looks really cool. I love the Little Mermaid vibes. And I think it looks really cute. All right, guys, so that does it for this video. As always, if you like this content from us and you wanna see more of our life in Florida and renovating our house and all the shenanigans that we get into, you gotta give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, follow us on Newsbreak if you aren't already, Give us a subscribe on YouTube and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.